400 Word Tales, where I break down something from an episode of Tales of History and Imagination in no more than 400 words. The first royal visitor to Australia was not British, but a Danish freebooter named Jorgen Jorgensen. Jorgen was born in Copenhagen, the son of a watchmaker. Though expected to join the family business, he ended up on sailing boats, working out of Cape Town in Tasmania. He helped map out the Australian coastline, and was the first person to spear a whale on the Derwent River. Jorgen returned to Denmark in 1807 to find Britain bombed his hometown of Copenhagen. Britain were at war with Napoleon and destroyed their fleet at Trafalgar. They were worried the French would steal Denmark's fleet and get back on the water, so they just bombed the Danish fleet. Jorgen was furious and turned pirate against the British. He was a terrible pirate and was soon jailed. From jail, Jorgen convinced Britain he could sail out to Iceland for him and make friendly connections. Iceland were more or less abandoned by Denmark following the ruin of the Danish fleet and could be wooed. But when he arrived, an official named Von Tramp ordered him to leave. Jorgen snuck back while the island was a church on a Sunday. Von Tramp, it turns out, was not a church at all, but was in his office with his cleaning lady. Jorgen placed the governor under arrest. Now in charge of the island, Jorgen declared himself king of Iceland. He remained king for a little over 90 days, and the locals enjoyed his reign. He invested crown money back into the schools, and repealed a law which banned fishing on the island. The old regime had the Icelanders just farming sheep for them. But the British dethroned King Jorgen, sensing he was too much of a loose cannon to be left there. Jorgen Jorgensen had many other adventures. He played war tourist at the Battle of Waterloo and lost his shirt multiple times at gambling tables before he was jailed in England then sent to Australia. He got into some heavy gambling debts, so stole furniture from a bedsit to pay off his creditors. His 1825 deportation to Australia technically makes him the first royal to set foot on the continent. Jorgen Jorgensen stayed on in Australia after his sentence ended, becoming a journalist and a farmer.